Hello and welcome from China Grove Meditation Retreat Center. Just come over from Bredignana. So just wanting uh, to welcome you all today during this difficult time. I'm glad that people are taking the time to listen to some Dhamma. So I just thought we'd start just by taking a few deep breaths and just having a few minutes of silence to start the meditation. Uh, to have a little talk and then a guided meditation. So just uh, relax your body and get in a comfortable position, whether seated in a chair or sitting on the floor. Comfortable, but upright and relaxed. And just start by taking a few deep breaths. Breathing in, relaxing. Breathing out, relaxing. And just sweep through the body from the, the top of the head to the soles of the feet. Relaxing deeper and deeper. And from the soles of the feet back to the top of the head. The time to just put everything down, put down thoughts, put down worries, put down emotions, just to relax and be. is the time to put everything down. Just become aware of the breath as it comes in and goes out and relax deeper and deeper. There's nothing to do, nowhere to go. It's soft and it's smiling. As the breath comes in and goes out, putting down all concerns and worries, sense of relaxed openness and freedom. Just connecting with peace. As the breath comes in and goes out. And we share the goodness of this mini meditation with ourselves and all beings. When you're ready, you may open your eyes. <sighs> So in times when there is difficulties, uh, you know, as Buddhists, uh, there's actually a teaching where a disciple of the Buddha, I think he was a king, and the, and the Buddha asked him, what would you do if a mountain was coming from the south and crushing everything in its path? And one of your uh, people came and told you, and then from the north and the east and the west, and the mountain is coming and crushing everything. And then the idea is that you just do good and make merit. That even if there is difficulties, then you know we just focus on the blamelessness of our virtue and see what good we can do, even in small amounts, just to keep practicing and keep a bright heart. So, you know, even though we may be faced with some difficulties in this world, it's an opportunity for us to let go of our worries and concerns to act rationally and carefully, and to have an open heart, to help the poor and the needy and the sick to the best of our abilities, to take care of ourselves, and to continue practicing Buddhism. And of course, we have uh, the foundation of our virtue, which uh, for the lay Buddhist community is the five precepts uh, as the foundation. And then it starts with physically doing these things, but then on a more refined level, 
it's actually developing these qualities in the mind, in the heart, so that we even avoid thoughts which go against these things. And uh, obviously this is something that takes time. But uh, there's one quality which goes across all religions, and that's having a thankful and a grateful heart. So if each day we're just uh, thankful and grateful for the good things that are in our lives, for our opportunity to meditate and offer dana and practice spiritually, then we're always coming from a good place. So it's always an opportunity for us to let go of our concerns and worries and focus on the things that are really uh, useful. And one of the teachings that was attributed to Ajahn Chah is if you have a big apple and a small apple, then give the big apple away, even if it hurts. And so that's the idea of training the heart to do what is difficult. It's difficult to go against miserliness. It's difficult to go against anger. It's difficult to go against laziness. But when we go against these kind of coarser defilements of the heart, and we are generous, and we are diligent, and we have a heart of benevolence, then these are things that are treasures in the world. And so to the people around us and to ourselves, we can offer uh, more universal uh, qualities of goodness. And um, I would suggest uh, if people are new to meditation, is downloading a guide of meditations, such as uh, a metta meditation from Ajahn Brahm or Bhante Sujato, and then listening to that every day in the same meditation and just spending that half an hour and developing that uh, attitude of uh, universal benevolence. And then that's a foundation for the practice because it's an emotion that you can draw on. So even if you get agitated or uh, you get a bit upset, you can just sit down and settle the mind again and genuinely wish all beings well, that all beings be free from suffering, that all beings be at ease, be happy, and be filled with goodness. And then uh, that will slowly take away the uh, coarser thoughts of the mind until every being in the universe you just think of in the same way. It doesn't matter if they're your mother, your brother, your sister, your father, or in the past they were even an enemy or somebody you didn't like. But now you just wish all beings well. And you see that we're all suffering and we're all a collection of our actions. And so even if people have made wrong decisions, it doesn't mean they can't make right decisions in the future. So we just have this understanding, compassion and benevolence to all beings. And when we cultivate these qualities throughout the day and we learn to have a thankful and grateful heart, and slowly what we find is uh, we become resilient to uh, the external difficulties of the world, that we're no longer um, subject to uh, all the problems of the world around us. We have our own inner weather system. So in times of difficulty, uh, we can be like rays of sunshine in the world, as uh, Ajahn Anek in Thailand said. And, and when we are like rays of sunshine, then we're reflecting the qualities of the Buddha. And then that's true Kalyana Mitta. It's beings who are friends with solitude, who are friends with wholesome qualities. And as Buddhists in our community, then when we reflect these qualities of the Buddha, we're having friendships with the Buddha. So by encouraging these qualities in each other, uh, we're really pointing back to the Buddha because the Buddha is the supreme teacher whose teachings come down to us. And so we can have gratitude for all the diligence of his practice. And so while well, expanding the path for us to follow. And so whether we believe things to a large or a small extent, uh, 
in Buddhism, we're not told to blindly follow, but we just take on board one precept at a time, we take on board one teaching at a time, and we practice, and we look at the cause and effect, and we see if actually these things are true in our own heart. In such a way, we're not blindly following, but we learn one thing at a time. Oh, these factors of enlightenment are true. These hindrances are difficulties. You know, hindrances of the mind are like shakos, where the factors of enlightenment uh, are like things that uh, awaken vision in the heart. And so slowly, day by day, week by week, through our meditation, through our virtue, through our giving, through our practice, through our sharing in Dharma and associating with the wise, you know, we can really brighten our hearts. And even in a world where there is sickness, uh, then it's an opportunity for us to help the sick and needy. It's an opportunity for us to give of our resources, our time, the goodness of our hearts, to see that how we can help the community. So anyway, that's my little talk on brightening the heart. So I thought we would just start now with a more formal meditation. So if, once again, you relax the body. And just close the eyes. And become aware of the feet. Relax the toes. Relax the soles of the feet. Relax the feet themselves. Tingly and relax. All tension draining away. The body as comfortable as possible. Relax the ankles. Relax the lower legs, the muscles, the bones, everything inside the lower legs, completely at ease, fading away like soft clouds. Relax the knees, the cartilage, the oil of the joints. Relax the thighs, these huge muscles, all tension fading away. Relax the waist and the weight of the body on the chair, all tension draining into the earth. As the waist and legs begin to fade away and completely vanish. Relax the waist and the belly and just become aware of the belly as it naturally rises and falls with the breath. Relaxing deeper and deeper, aware of the belly from inside out as it rises and falls. It's a natural movement of the body. The belly rises and falls with the breath, relaxing deeper and deeper. Alert and awake, but relaxed and at ease. Relax the lower back and sides, the middle back and sides the upper back and sides. All tension fading away like soft clouds, 
tingly and relaxed. Relax your solar plexus. And diaphragm. Relax the chest, the ribs, and the lungs. And just become aware of the lungs as they fill up and empty. Relaxing deeper and deeper. Oh, tensions fading away. Relax the heart. Let go of any difficulties in the heart. The heart becomes completely at ease, like soft clouds fading away. Relax the shoulders. So much tension in the shoulders. They might droop a little. Stay completely relaxed. Relax the upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists and hands. Completely comfortable and at ease. And fingertips. Relax off clouds, fading away. Tuning into the peace. Joyfully letting go of everything. Relax the neck and throat. Everything in this region completely at ease. Relax the chin, the jaws, the cheeks, the lips, the tongue down to the root. Relax the nostrils, the nose the bags under the eyes, the eyelids and the eyes themselves, completely at ease, like soft clouds fading away. Spend some time to relax the eyes. So much tension is held in the eyes as they relax deeper and deeper, much more subtle relaxation can begin to be felt. This tingly, relaxed feeling spreading through the eyes. Relax the eyebrows, the temples and the forehead. And imagine any lines of worry begin to fade away and vanish. And the forehead becomes completely relaxed and at ease, like soft clouds fading away. Relax the whole body, completely at ease. And if the body needs to do anything in the meditation, just allow it to look after itself very gently and quietly. Now we allow the body to completely fade away. We bring our attention to the mind. We put down the past. Past is gone, it's not coming back. 
Now is not the time to decide things. Now is the time to put things down. So let go of the past. Let go of any worries, concerns, and thoughts about the past. Like soft clouds fading away. They may come up, but you don't have to get involved with them. Just let them be. And thoughts of the future, think a thousand thoughts and it can still be something else. So just put down thoughts of the future and imagination, like soft clouds fading away. And then the present, put down the sights, sounds, smells, taste, touch, thoughts, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, mind. Put down liking and disliking. Just become completely relaxed here in the present moment. With an open heart, thankful and grateful just to be here in this good moment. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Completely content with the simplicity of this present moment. As the tingliness of the breath comes in and out, it's a soft, open awareness. A thankful and grateful heart. Joyfully letting go of any liking and disliking that arises. And content just to be here, to be friends with the breath in the present moment. What's the texture of the breath? What's the temperature of the breath? How long or short is the in-breath or the out-breath? Let's be right here in the present moment with alertness and friendship, ease and benevolence. Tuning into the peace. Tuning into the feeling of the breath. That soft, tingly sensation. With a thankful and grateful heart. Agitation, worry, liking or disliking arise, arises. Just become aware of it with a kind and soft openness. 
And just like a bird takes flight from a branch, just let it go softly. Let it go on its natural course. And come back to the present moment and to the breath. A soft, open awareness. Like the whole world vanishes. You're just purely content with few desires here in the present moment. The thankful, grateful heart. As the breath comes in and the breath goes out. Just here with this one thing. Tuning in to the tingly sensation of the in-breath and the tingly sensation of the out-breath. Content just to be here in the present moment. With a welcoming heart thankful and grateful. His breath comes in and goes out. Not a care in the world. Allowing this heart of benevolence to fill the whole universe, the whole ambrosial. As the breath comes in and goes out. Content just to be here. Content to be with the tingly sensation of the in-breath and out-breath. That very subtle feeling. A sense of joyfulness and ease. Just to be here with the breath.
boundless heart of benevolence as the breath comes in and goes out. Content just to be here with the breath. We thank ourselves for the willingness to practice. And we share the goodness of this meditation, all these good feelings and this peace and benevolence we have in our hearts. We share it with ourselves. May we continue to practice. And we share it with all those beings who are also watching this meditation and talk. May they be well, happy, free from difficulties and filled with peace. And then the great world around us, those who are poor, those who are sick, the leaders, the spiritual leaders, and all beings in this great world, humans, animals, and other beings, and all beings in the ambrosial, in the various realms of existence, May all beings be happy. May all beings be at ease. May all beings be free from difficulty. May we all help each other by developing more peace, goodness, gratefulness, and thankfulness. May our hearts be more purified each day. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. May all beings be happy and well. When you're ready, you may open your eyes. So thank you for spending this time with me today. I encourage everybody to take some moments throughout their day to come back to thankfulness and gratefulness and to spend a few minutes with the breath so that each or your meditation object so that each time you come to meditate, hopefully every day, or you come to give dana to the monks and nuns, or help those in the community the best you can, that the power of your meditation, that the power of your goodness keeps accumulating, and that be a source of goodness and wealth for yourself and all those beings in this great world around us, and the devas, and all beings everywhere. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. May all beings be happy and well. Thank you. <laughs>